Are you serious? You know, Jesus said in the last days there would be false Christ and false prophets would rise and they would deceive many. Uh, he said there would be wars and rumors of wars and see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And we just saw Russia get kicked out of the G8. Now it's the G7. And he says... Um, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. And then it goes on to tell you about a whole lot more. But when he spoke of earthquakes, he specifically let you know that you would see uh, many earthquakes in many different places. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. There's a, there's a situation developing in Chile that should be very, very concerning. There's been 300 earthquakes has hit Chile in the last week. You heard me right. 300 earthquakes have hit the nation of Chile. And that's not the only place. Earthquakes are everywhere spreading around. But they've had some significant earthquakes, 300 of them in the last week, including a 6.7 earthquake that hit back on March the 16th. Uh, this is an unnerving activity. It began with this strong 6.7 earthquake back on, like I said, March 16th, that caused more than 100,000 people to briefly evacuate the low-lying areas. And although no tsunami materialized and there was no physical damage really from the shaking, uh, m but the land has not settled down since. More than a dozen uh, very strong quakes were felt in the cities, and the situation is out of ordinary. There is a mix of a string of tremors and aftershocks that make things more complex to evaluate. They're very concerned. The Chile Seismology Center told the local newspapers, we can't rule out a larger quake yet to come. Now remember, Chile had one of the world's most powerful earthquakes in history, an 8.8 uh, 8 earthquake that actually started the 188-day earthquake cycle. I remember it. It was an 8.8 .8 earthquake that hit in Concepcion, Chile. And this earthquake was so powerful back in 2010, it killed more than 500 people, destroyed more than 220 thousand homes, wasted uh, away docks, riverfronts, seaside resorts. It was the strongest earthquake ever recorded on earth. Also happened in Chile, a 9.5 back in 1960 that killed more than 5,000 people. So this is why they're extremely concerned about 300 earthquakes in the last week. And uh, so... They had also received another major quake of an 8.3, and that was way back in 1877 that brought a 24-foot meter high tsunami, 80-foot high tsunami that caused major damage along the coast of Chile and Peru. So this is very concerning. We need to pray for the people of Chile. I have uh, friends down at Rosemary uh, down there in Chile. I have members of our uh, online church. We've got folks that support our ministry, folks that come into our chat rooms and just pray with folks. Uh, we've got a lot of good friends and viewers down there in Chile, and we're praying for you, praying that this thing settles down and stops. But I can't change Bible prophecy. Jesus said these things are going to happen. As a matter of fact, Isaiah said the earth's even going to rock to and fro. It's going to reel to and fro like a drunken man in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20. So things are getting intense. Are you serious? What? Are you serious? Something biblical's going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Please give your life to Jesus Christ because we're living in the last days.